You can draw power to the F2D Mighty either from the included AC adapter or from any computer USB port. Plug the USB cable into the power adapter. And then plug the other end of the cable into the back of the unit. With the Wolverine Mighty, you can save scanned images either to the internal memory that can hold around 40 images or direct into SD, SDHC cards up to 32 GB in capacity. Insert the SD card with the gold contacts pointing up into the SD slot. Push all the way in until it clicks. To take out the card, push the card again in and it will eject to remove. We highly recommend you clean your film and the unit before you start scanning. Use the included cleaning brush. With the felt material side pointing down, Wipe the light glass table a few times. When you first turn on the unit, you will be prompted to define the film type. Press the OK button at film type. Four film types are available, slide, color negatives, 8mm film and black and white negatives. Press the right or the left arrow button to toggle between the different film types. Press the OK button at the desired film type. Next, you have to select the film size. Use the left or the right arrow button to highlight the film size and then press OK to select. Converting slides into digital. Use the adapter labeled slide adapter. Insert the adapter into the right side of the unit. Press OK to define the film type. Press the left or the right arrow button to highlight slide positive icon and then press OK. Select 135 if you are scanning 35mm film and then press OK. Take the first slide with the motion or shiny side up and feed it into the adapter. Take a second slide and feed it into the adapter until it reaches the edge of the adapter. The image from the first slide will now display on the screen.
To scan the slide, press Convert C button once, and then press the OK button to save. When the progress wheel disappears, it means you are done with the slide. Feed another slide into the adapter. The second slide will now display on the screen. Press Convert button. and then the OK to save. Continue the same procedure for all slides. The Wolverine Mighty provides few editing options as follows. From the preview screen, in case you inserted your slide upside down, you can press the flip button to rotate the image 180 degrees. If you inserted your slide reversed, you can press the mirror button to mirror the image. You can also adjust brightness and primary colors. From the preview screen, press the OK button to access the adjustment screen. You can adjust brightness by adjusting the exposure EV value. Press the right arrow button and the red indicator will move to the positive numbers to brighten the image. Press the left arrow button to darken the image. To finalize, press the OK button. The red indicator will now jump to, the, to adjusting the R or the red color. To add more red, use the right button. To reduce the red, press the left button. And then, to finalize, press the OK button to exit. You could do the same for the greens and the blue colors. To exit, keep pressing the OK button. Note, EV value is displayed on the upper right corner. After adjusting the colors, you could continue converting by pressing the Convert button and then the OK to save. Converting 35mm negatives. After you power the unit, press the OK button at Film Type. Press the right or the left arrow button to choose color negatives and press OK. Choose 135 for 35 millimeter and press OK. Use the negative adapter. Push the adapter into the right side of the machine. Take a negative strip with the shiny side up and feed it through the adapter. The Wolverine F2D Mighty automatically converts the negative image into a positive image. Center the image in the middle of the screen. Then press Convert C button once and then press the OK button to save. When the progress wheel disappears, it means your image has been scanned and saved. Push to the next frame and repeat the process by pressing the Convert button and then the OK to save.
Converting 110 Film. To convert 110 film to digital, press the OK button at film type. Press the left or the right arrow button to select color negative. Press OK. Select 110. And then press OK. Twist open the negative adapter. So you just twist and you just lift. Place the 110 insert into the adapter, lining up the dimples with the dimple holes on the adapter. Close the adapter tight. And then insert the adapter into the right side opening. Take a 110 film and feed it into the adapter. A positive image will show in the display screen. Align the image in the center of the screen. And then press the convert button once. And then the OK button to save. Push the film to the next frame and repeat the process by pressing the convert button and then the OK to save. Taking snapshots from 8mm reels. With the F2D Mighty, you can take snapshots or stills from regular 8 or Super 8 movie reels. At the film type prompt, press the OK button. Press the right arrow button to highlight 8mm reel and press OK. Press the left or the right arrow button to select regular 8 or super 8 and press OK button. Press OK at film type. Select 8mm reel and press OK. Select from standard 8 or super 8 and press OK. Take your 8mm film and feed it into the 8mm adapter. Make sure the sprocket holes are placed to the right side of the adapter. Feed the adapter into the front opening, images will now display on the screen. Line up a frame, center it in the middle of the screen, press the convert C button once to scan. 
and then the OK button to save a snapshot of one frame. To reassemble the entire movie, you only need to make to take one frame every quarter of a foot. Then use a JPEG editing software like Picasa to reassemble it into a slideshow movie. Uploading saved images to the computer. To upload saved images from the internal memory or a memory card, connect the unit to a computer USB port. It will now draw power from a computer USB port. Press the left arrow button until you reach USB Upload. And then press the OK button. In case you are using Windows operating system, use the Image Import Wizard. If you are using a Mac, you can import the images into iPhoto. After uploading images to a computer, you can use the delete all function to empty the internal memory or the memory card. At the film type prompt, press the right arrow button to select delete all. Press the OK button at delete all. Press the left arrow button to highlight yes, and then press the OK button. When the formatting message disappears, it means all images have been deleted.